What's going on everybody? Bring you another franchise game. This one is against Phantom Parker. I know you guys probably seen, I hope you guys are following the journey because guys be just asking mad weird questions. If you share my videos, like I see a lot of people are sharing it and I really appreciate it. When you share the video, hit me up on Twitter like, yo, g -Ma, I just shared your video so I can know that dudes are really, you know what I'm saying? Because they, a lot of new people are coming and they're like, yo, um, you sound like you're from this place. Are you like, bro, what the fuck? How the fuck don't everybody know I'm from New York yet? I don't even know, but like I said, I appreciate everybody sending, um, you know, sharing it and doing all the stuff you're doing. But definitely let it be known because it's not, yo, yo, this is this is a this is a different era. This is not gonna be something where we're gonna have a lot of the bullshit that's happening right now actively in the community going on. You know what I'm saying? People are gonna make their content. They're going to have to uh, follow certain guidelines if they're going to make other money off the content, and that's gonna be it. You're gonna have to have official shit. And like I said, a lot of people were asking me as far as the, um, what was that, the, uh, the, that Ninja Wood defense by T-Raw. Listen, bro, I would never put the man's information out there like that, bro. You gotta, you guys gotta understand something. I, I'm, I, when you think, when you think of G Maya, you can't, like, people always, people that know me consider me a gangster, but not a gangster in the fact of, yeah, I'm about to go pop you in the head. Listen, th that's the way you go to jail. You gotta think of me as a gangster, as an Albert Einstein. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I very rarely had to put my hands on dudes coming up after I put my hands on a couple. How the fuck did I miss that goddamn field goal? And like I said, for the most part, we don't need to do it that way. We don't have to have violence. We don't gotta make this, uh, you know what I'm saying, an African-American um, a, a saga movie or some shit like that. We don't gotta make this no crazy ass Menace to Society movie. We just have to make people, this guy goes for it on fourth down and fucks me in the ass again. We don't have to make it like that. We just have to make people understand that, yo, look, bro, you you can't keep doing it the way you're doing it. And like I said, it's it's not the like people are saying, yo, bro, you should expose and show. No, that's not what you do, bro. That 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 even though it's a piece of shit, his ebook is a fucking that shit dropped out of a cow's ass and is used to fertilize crops. T Raw's ebook, okay? But that doesn't give me the right or any of you guys the right to put his shit out in the open. That I'm against. For the people that paid the money, the 350 plus people that bought it, that's, those are the people that, you know, should have it. It's not on me, it's not on anybody else to just take it like, yo, I'm about to, uh, yo, I'm about to expose this dude, bro. I'm about, we expose him by explaining to the masses that this is shit. Therefore stopping the sales, therefore making him understand he has to change what he's doing. You understand what I'm saying? This is why when I was in a certain field with people that were murderers and all kinds of crazy shit, they respected me because there's ways to go about it. You don't do shit like, yeah, bro, yo, this dude is doing that. So I'm gonna, no, because then you become, you become more of the problem than he is. How do you stop something? How do you stop a machine? How do you stop something that is so polluted, is disgusting, and you want to vomit inside your mouth every time you think about their name. You extract the funds. He can't brag about money if nobody buys it. You, you guys understand what's going on? If you're in the streets, all my hood dudes that be writing me privately, asking me for like, you know, hood advice and shit like that. If you're in the streets and you got a better product, you don't walk around with the other dude's product like, yo, this is what his is, this is what mine is. You just tell dudes that product is shit. You know what I'm saying? You you tried it, now come holla at me. You don't stoop to the level to give them that shit. The people that already have it, let them have it. But you have to promote yours and move on. That's it. We know, and I had one guy, or it probably was more people that saying, yeah, bro, the book sends heat. Bro, T-Raw sends 96,000 people. Of course you're gonna get heat, you dickhead. He's basically doing Engage 8 with 95 people. What the fuck? Of course it's gonna be heat, motherfucker. If it's 100 degrees outside, it's gonna be hot. I don't, I don't understand like the stupid shit, and, and it frustrates me because it makes me understand why America is in the state that they're in right now. Because people are so fucking stupid. And for the younger kids, I can understand. That's our job to help groom them. But for older dudes that are like, yeah, bro, I, yo, I got dudes quitting. Motherfucker, you playing bums. I swear to God, a dude run Engage 8 on me, bro. Yo, are you fucking serious? This guy t Raw is sending his fucking bench. What the fuck, man? Are you serious? You're getting heat? 
Did you see those plays in that book? The man misspelled the website for crying out loud. He don't give a fuck. What else do I have to do? What else do people have to do to let you guys understand? This is what I'm saying. You you guys think that, oh yeah, bro. Oh, you know, uh, yo, I, I'm, I, I got better. It's always one dickhead. It's always one, bro. It has to be. Else the world wouldn't be the way, the way it is right now. It always has to be one fucking dickhead that it worked for. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Are you serious right now? Did, what the? And this bullshit roll over, motherfuckers, man. Whatever happened to the old matter where a guy just dropped on the floor and stayed there? They gotta get all realistic and motherfuckers rolling over each other for first downs. Fuck this game. But that's besides the point. You guys have to continue to know and understand what you're getting. Remember what I tell you. In life, there's always gonna be people that try to get over. Our job is to identify those people. And if we care about our community, we remove them. Why the F do you think places like, uh, you, you ever hear those names like, um, like Shiny Glow Lane and all kinds of crazy ass names and Duck Pond and shit like that? Who usually lives in those places like that? Glisten and Shit Balls or Shiny Cristeria Pond Lake Drive? Caucasians. They usually live in places like that because they protect their community. If there's somebody in there that's running around with a do-rag and a fucking nappy ass head, they gonna have police at your house every day because they identify and they remove. That's what we have to do. T-Raw is a clown. I Magoo is a clown. Golden Showers is a clown. Moss to Crappy is a fucking clown. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? I don't give a shit about any of these idiots. What I'm trying to make you guys understand is you guys are giving them the power. Guys are riding like, yeah, bro. Oh, $8,700, goddamn. Yeah, you dumb motherfuckers. That's what he's doing. Now, if he was putting out some crazy hot fire shit, I wouldn't even make a video about him. Because that, oh, this guy goes for the fourth down and I'm playing a, the fucking dumbest D that I could ever fucking play. I fucking probably took that out of T-Raw Z, but, but it don't really matter. My point is this. Why do people buy things that are good? Why do you spend the extra money? Why the fuck would I buy a Blendtec blender for $450 when I could buy a Walmart special? Why? Because I want the fucking better blender. If you buy shit, you're gonna get shit. The problem is, you guys didn't know it was shit. Now you know it's shit. What the fuck are you still doing? Look at this dumb motherfucker. I'm trying to hurry up and my center won't get set. They wanted me to fucking lose this game. It's probably fucking IMAP praying on me, bro. That motherfucker praying on it and shit. This is some bullshit. But it don't really matter, bro. It was a really, really good game. I'm about to get sacked right... Oh, no, I didn't get sacked right here. Did he... Oh, no, I overthrew that one. But it don't really matter. That's not even on prior, bro. It shouldn't even come to that. Right here, I'm about to get sacked, though. That really fucked me in the ass with no lube. I should have just went for the fucking field... Getting to field goal range, but... I didn't really pay attention to it. And there it goes. He goes for the effort like a dickhead. And uh, that's pretty much the game, bro. My guy's looking mad stupid with a fucking stupid ball spot. I gotta see if I can change that. But you guys... Look, man. You guys know what the deal is. I'm gonna tell you what time it is. All the time. Every time. So... I beat him the first time, he just beat me that time. Uh, what the fuck is my record? I think he's like number one in the division right now. Yeah. Alright, good shit, bro. So I'm fucking getting, I'm getting manhandling shit. I gotta just go back to the lab and fucking figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Calvin Johnson, you're a bitch and a pussy motherfucker. Here goes the scores from week six. The Texans lost to who? Buka? Okay, we stay chilling. Okay, dread him. Oh, damn. Damn, Clem Hunter. Take that dick. Big Muda beat that damn Clem. What? Is that true? That's 35 zip. Goddamn, Sleepy. The most city D. Okay, David Jets beat him. Quiet Riot took care of Wee Bobby. What else is new? He's a bum bitch. Rod Rax. Okay. Phantom Parker just took care of me in the ass. Uh, Alibaba got a win there. Uh, Monte Ellis took care of OU on some two. Fred W took care of Cal. Okay. Okay, bro. Blow that motherfucker out. Glitchy Goon got a win. This game had to be simmed. I don't know for what reason. Uh, Darry Pro once again sticking his dick in dudes. And uh, Birdman the Great took care of I Black. One love. Go to gmayasworld.com for t-shirts for men, women, and children, shot glasses, and other accessories. Click on this video for parodies, 
podcasts, and other content. G Maya's world is more than just Madden videos. And follow G Maya on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and you can download podcasts for free on iTunes.